Did you know that any container holding 18 milliliters of water, such as this graduated cylinder, actually holds 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd individual molecules of water? Let me prove it to you. So if I'm trying to calculate the number of water molecules in an 18 milliliter sample, I'm gonna need a couple extra pieces of information. For instance, I know that the density of water is one gram per milliliter and the molar mass of water is 18 grams per mole. These are gonna help me convert between milliliters of water and molecules of water. So let's try it out. We're gonna start with the 18 milliliters of water. So I'm gonna write it to the left side of my paper. And then to remind myself what unit I'm looking for, I'm gonna write molecules of H2O on the right side. And then I'm gonna use dimensional analysis to cancel my units. So I'm gonna set up my first ratio. And I'm gonna put milliliters of water to the bottom of that first ratio to cancel. Now, since the density is grams per milliliter, I can go from milliliters on the bottom to grams of H2O up top. That's still not the unit I need, however, so I need another ratio. And I'm gonna bring down grams of H2O to cancel. Since I've got molar mass, I can go from grams to moles. But moles isn't quite what I want. I actually want molecules. So I need to apply Avogadro's number, which states that one mole of anything will equal 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of that anything. So to the bottom of that next ratio, I'm gonna bring down moles of H2O. And then from moles of H2O, I can go to molecules. All I have to do now is plug in some numbers. For the first ratio, for every one gram of H2O, I have one milliliter. For the second ratio, for every 18 grams of water, I have one mole of water. And then for the final one, for every one mole of water, I've got 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. Now my units here are gonna cancel all the way up to molecules. Not only that, but since I'm gonna take those 18 milliliters, multiply it by one, and then divide by 18, the 18s cancel too. So essentially I have one times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, which means in that 18 milliliter sample, I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd individual molecules of water. So, if you were to pour yourself an 18 milliliter glass of water, you would drink exactly one mole of water. This is why the mole is chemistry's most crucial unit. It allows us to count the number of minuscule particles not even the human eye could see, such as atoms, molecules, even electrons, and relate it to grams, milliliters, even energy. Think about it, in just 18 milliliters of space, there sits 602 sextillion water molecules. That's incredible. Happy National Mole Day. Let me know in the comments your favorite mole fun fact. I hope a little learning has occurred here and you have a fantastic day.